is New Year's Eve 1599 in old Paris. After a hundred years of war, there was now peace in France. And there was much, much happiness among the people. <laughs> Listen, Henri. Oh, even the bells of Notre Dame Cathedral sound happy. <laughs> How right you are, Genevieve. May we, happy bells. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that, Henri. Unbelievable. Nonsense. It's a birthmark, that's all. Runs in our family. Which? <laughs> you know, Lord Frollo, I never thought I'd hear the people of Pally laugh again. I really didn't. Under the reign of King Henry IV, the people have begun to dream of scientific progress. Cheer up, Frollo. Get into the mood of things, for goodness sake. Only two hours to midnight. Enjoy yourself, man. Yet, for all the happiness, there were those who were still prejudiced and ignorant. Woman, sire. I'm certain she's a gypsy. Disgusting people. They bring bad luck. Ah, oh, Frollo. I'm sure they are not all bad. The gypsy girl looked very fetching to me. Ha! Next thing you'll be telling me that you still believe the earth is flat. With respect, sire, the earth is flat. Oh, 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 Frollo, Frollo. And I suppose the moon is made of Swiss cheese, huh? <laughs> no, I don't think that at all, sire. I believe it is made of salt. My goodness. What an exquisite sight, Frollo. What a sight. That's the gypsy, sire. Don't look at her. She may cast a spell on you. <laughs> Too late, Frollo. She has already unbound me in it. <laughs> I'm spellbound. And a police so. <laughs> hey, say, young woman, what is your name? Oh, my name? My name is Esmeralda, Your Majesty. Ah, a lovely name for a lovely young woman. Here! Oh, sire! Thank you! Thank you so much! Ha! Ah, does a man's eyes good that are follow, seeing such beauty? What good is it? 
should it cause a man to lose his soul? Back, Quasimodo, the bell ringer from Notre Dame Cathedral. After him. Oh, <laughs> he won't hurt anyone. <laughs> After him. Catch him. And quickly, he's getting away. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> There he is! Follow him! Hey, Hunchback! How about that show? Dance for us! Yes, dance for us! Sing us a song! <laughs> both! Do both, Hunchback! Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look! He's doing the Fandango Francais! No, let's crown him King of the Clouds! <laughs> the King of the Clouds! Three cheers for Quasimodo, the King of the Clouds! Hip hip! Hooray! Hip hip! Hooray! Hip hip! Hooray! <laughs> Come on, King Cloud! Come dance with us! Hooray! Hooray! <laughs> Mordo, I am guardian of an ass! How dare he make a fool of me in public again! you want, Gypsy? Come to arm the king, have you? No! Let me go! I just want to ask him something on behalf of my people. We are so poor and... You people are thieves and murderers! You're under arrest! No! Hey, no. come back, you saving Gypsy! Come back! My prisoner, Padre. She was going to murder the king. Was she? With her bare hands, I suppose. I don't see any weapons, guard. She's a gypsy. <laughs> that doesn't make her a murderer. Come inside, my dear. You have the sanctuary of the cathedral. Leave. This is the house of God. You have no rights inside these doors. Padre John Paul. I am the keeper of the cathedral. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I am Esmeralda. You will be safe here. Quasimodo, the bell ringer, will care for you. It's about Quasimodo, Your Grace. He needs to be punished, severely whipped. Teach him a lesson. What on earth for, Frollo? He's been out on the streets, 
making an utter fool of himself. I've strictly forbidden him to ever leave the cathedral. He's not to be seen in public. Ah, oh, but surely on New Year's Eve, the poor fellow's allowed just a little fun. No! He's hideous! The people laugh and jeer at him. He should stay indoors. Uh, for his own good. No, 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 no. I won't permit it, Frollo. You are his guardian. You should take better care of him. Your attitude is hardly Christian. But your grace! That will be all. Good evening, Frollo. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one! Happy New Year, Esmeralda. A new age has begun. I'm so grateful to you. My people are not welcome in the city these days. We are persecuted. Yes, I know. Perhaps we should pray that things will change and to thank God for your safe delivery to the cathedral. Hmm? Pray? I am a gypsy. I do not know how. It is quite simple, my dear. You kneel. Like this. Close your eyes and talk quietly from your heart to God. Stop! Stop this at once! Blasphemy! It's blasphemy for heathens to pray to our God! How dare you! You filthy gypsy witch! Oh. You're a witch who steals men's hearts with your beauty and then sends me... them! Mad! Mad, I say! That is not true! For the sake of decent men everywhere, you shall be burned at the stake! For my... your own good! Enough, Lord Frollo! You should not speak like that in the house of God. Esmeralda, please, go up to the tower and rest, my dear. Put her down, you off! 
Take him to the Bastille and lock him up. He can face the court for abduction. You hurt? No. Thank you, sir. Is this the effect your beauty has on men? That they all wish to carry you away? No. Often the opposite. Some men are afraid. They think I'm a witch. Which you are not, of course. I can see that. I must go and join my fellow officer. Uh, your name was? Esmeralda, my lord. Mine is Phoebus. It is a pleasure to meet you, Esmeralda. It will be nice to meet you again, in better circumstances. Yes. In better circumstances, I agree. I must go as well, to find my people. Au revoir, Phoebus. I remain your servant, should you ever require my assistance in the future. Au revoir. Esmeralda. Phoebus, is this the name of the man I will truly love? woman? Uh, yes, sir, I, I did. It was a gypsy woman. Was she about this tall? Uh, yes, she was, sir. And did she have eyes that shone brighter than the most beautiful stars in the night sky? Uh, mm. uh, that is her exactly, sir. You arrested her as well, I presume. She needs to be punished. Uh, no. Uh, what for, sir? For being a gypsy witch! For being a deadly menace to good men like me everywhere! Search the city! Detain every gypsy woman in Paris until you find her! That's an order! And you say you try to talk to the king about our situation, Esmeralda? Yes, Clopin. That is when all of my troubles began. Ah, Clopin, king of the gypsies. What is to become of your poor people? Misunderstood and persecuted wherever they go. Stay where you are. Every woman in this room is under detention. Let me be clear about this, guard. You apprehended the accused carrying a gypsy woman down the street? Uh, yes, sir. And where is this gypsy woman now? I don't know, sir. We have come to the city for her, but uh, she's vanished. I assume the woman did not want to be carried down the street. No! Well, that saves a lot of time. The accused has confessed his guilt. Does anyone wish to address the court before I pass sentence? I do. Very well, but be brief. I am the accused's guardian. I agree he should be disciplined. However, the woman should be punished as well for casting a spell on him. She's a witch, you see. A witch? 
This is a serious charge. She must come before the courts for questioning. I hereby issue a warrant for her arrest. Prisoner Quasimodo, I sentence you to two whole days in public stocks. Take the fool away. No, Quasimodo not hurt anyone. This will teach you a lesson, Quasimodo. And Esmeralda, Quasimodo would never have hurt you. He's the kindest, gentlest person I have ever met. He can't help how he looks and sounds. He's almost deaf from the bells. <gasps> Then I have caused him a terrible wrong. Oh no! Water! Water! No! 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 Oh, please, was he not I'm so, so sorry for what I've done to you. Let that be a lesson to you, Archback. Come on, get up and be off with you. Boo! Yeah. Go on, go! Otherwise, I'll put you back in. Dum dum dum. Nothing that I can bath. Ah, the bells again. Clinging at odd times lately. <laughs> like the bell ring has got bats in his belfry. <laughs> I'll find her if it's the last thing I do, and burn her! 
Then, and only then, I'll be free of her. You hiding behind that mask? Uh, uh, yes, Your Majesty. <laughs> Obviously taken by advice, man. <laughs> Getting out and about, enjoying yourself for a change. <laughs> All work and no play makes Frollo a dull boy, huh? <laughs> yes, Your Majesty. The air's still not flat, you know. Better get used to it, Frollo. The world is changing. We've got to change with it. Round our views, huh? <laughs> yes, Your Majesty. I oh, love a party. Oh, look, Frollo. Dancing. Hmm, funny. I seem to know that woman. Now, where would I have seen her before, Frollo? Frollo? I dance with you? Why? Yes, of course. It's you, isn't it, Esmeralda? Yes, Phoebus, it is me. But there is a warrant for your arrest. I know. What are you doing here? There is much danger. I dance for money because I must eat. And I wanted to see you. I guessed you would be here. I am in love with you. From that first moment I saw you on the street. No, Phoebus, it is the same for me. I cannot keep you out of my mind. I am in great danger. They search the city for me. I need help. Beautiful young woman surely could not be a witch. She's a witch, all right. Disguised as a beautiful woman, sire. This is a court warrant for her arrest. Take her away! No! Neighbors! Esmeralda!
Lord Frollo, what evidence do you have that the accused is a witch? First, Your Worship, she made the king throw money. And then she turned the head of a simpleton and made him abduct her. And then mesmerized one of the poor mounted guards. It's her beauty, Your Worship. It's fatal to all men. Mm. What do you say, accused? I... Oh, no, it's not true. You are lying. Several witnesses saw the king throw money at you. A simpleton did abduct you, he told me so himself. And one of the mounted guards was dancing with you when you were arrested. As for your beauty, I can uh, see what Lord Frollo means. I've never seen anyone with such perfect eyes, hair, teeth. Your Worship, watch out! Don't look at her! <coughs> I see what you mean, Lord Frollo. Young woman, you are a menace to men like me. Society. <gasps> oh, no! I sentence you to... <clears throat> to death! That's what I sentence you to. By burning at the stake. Esmeralda! Ah, please! No! I'm not a witch! Esmeralda, I've been trying to arrange an appeal for you. But you can't, because gypsies have no rights. I know I'm going to die, Phoebus. I know it. You mustn't give up, Esmeralda. I have a plan. They took Esmeralda prisoner and sentenced her to die. Quasimodo. I'm so sorry. No. 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 Esmeralda is innocent. We won't give up, my darling. Prisoner, I've got some uh, good news for you. Yes? They are not going to burn you in two mornings from now, after all. <laughs> oh, I can't tell you how relieved I am, Jailer. Oh. They are going to burn you tomorrow morning instead. <laughs> you won't have to wait as long, see? <laughs> Just in case there's any trouble.
prisoner. There's a visitor here to see you. We only let him go last week. <laughs> Shall I send him away? No, 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 please. Oh, Quasimodo. Dear, dear Quasimodo. Quasimodo, you friend. Oh, there's nothing you can do, Quasimodo. But your friendship means more to me than I can tell you. Get back, prisoner. No touching the visitors. No monkey business now. I... My conscience is troubled, Padre. I seek forgiveness. Of course, Lord Frollo. The gypsy woman, Esmeralda... She, she's not a witch. But you have condemned her for it. Why? I'm in love with her. But it is not a healthy love. Her death will set me free of it. You are wrong, Lord Frollo. If you do this, you will never be free. You must have the king pardon her immediately. No! I cannot do it! Then I cannot do it either. Forgive you, that is. Good evening, Lord Frollo. No. They've gone to the cathedral. No! No! Thank you, dear Quasimodo. Imprisoned, you free me. Angry, you feed me and bring me flowers. I can never thank you enough. Quasimodo, Esmeralda, friends. I demand you release the gypsy woman from the cathedral immediately. She is a criminal. Your Grace. Lord Frollo, mind your place. You have no right to demand any such thing from the church. 
She has been condemned by the courts of France to burn at the stake. The church is harboring a witch. My answer is no. It is a higher order than yours that exercises power here, Lord Frollo. Then I'll take my case to the king and let him decide. As you wish. An innocent woman will die at the stake. Please, help me save her. Oh, Ray, this is terrible. Huh. Terrible. How can we help? Sign my petition to the king. It's our only hope. On the 7th of January in the new year of 1600, Phoebus, now aware that Esmeralda had escaped from prison, set out to petition King Henry to pardon her. At the same time, Padre Jean-Paul set out from the cathedral to see the king. He too wished to ask the king to pardon Esmeralda. And there was a third man, also on his way to court. But a pardon for Esmeralda was the last thing on his mind. Bah, very modern, I must say, young Phoebus. A leaflet printed by a uh, printing press, you say? Oh, and a petition. Most impressive. But there is nothing I can do, I'm afraid. We have no evidence the young woman is not a witch. I beg to differ, Your Majesty. The young woman has been falsely accused. Uh, she? How do you know, Padre? I am not at liberty to say except to hope that the person who told me is man enough to tell you, sire. All right. All right. It's a lie I invented to have her removed from my life. To stop me from going mad. Mad! I do declare, Frollo. You're madly in love with the young woman. Ha! Madly in love! Ha! Oh, that settles it, then. Robert, a quill, if you please. Just uh, went, did he? Oh well. Take this to the Archbishop at Notre Dame Cathedral. The young woman is hereby pardoned. Never was a witch. I don't care who pardons you, Esmeralda, because I don't pardon you. You must die, you witch. Even if I have to kill you myself! You must die, you 
escúchalo. Esmeralda, my darling, you are safe and you are free. The king has pardoned you. Yeah! 